here is our table. Very similar to last week's, just five pieces of the terrain, buildings with the centerpiece. And we're going to go ahead and figure out what scenario. Okay, we are playing the objective um, land grab, which is um, from last year's um, uh, last year's Art Boys tournament, scenario one. Um, essentially, it's a combination of seize ground and annihilation. So first uh, and foremost objective is controlling objectives. There's five automatically. And the second is if there's a tie or, or, or to determine what kind of a victory you get is how many kill points you won by, that kind of stuff. So we're going to go ahead and deploy and roll. Okay. 97. <laughs> 97, impressive. So we're going to go ahead and roll for... Um, Choosing side, it's pitch battle deployment in this scenario. I rolled a two, and five. Steve rolled a five. So he chooses first. I shall go ahead and take this quarter. All right. Steve's taking that side for pitch battle. Okay, here is deployment. We have an objective right over here. Seraphim, Rhino, Exorcist. Um, three Sentinels count as Penitent Engines with the um, Repentia in there. We've got a Rhino... Um, Exorcist, another Rhino, Karamazov, and an Immolator. There's also an Immolator chilling in this building back here. Second objective is here. Third one is in this middle piece of terrain. And the two objectives on my side are here and here. And I have chosen to hold everything in reserves again, in interest of not dying. Okay, this is turn one movement. Pretty aggressive movement phase. Everything moved forward 12 inches and ran. Um, Sisters Repentia and the Penitent Engines got Holy Rage. Um, that emulator's still there. This emulator's still here. And pretty much everything else moved. So we're going on turn two. All right, turn two movement. Again, very aggressive. Kind of trying to corner me out of any good positions. But, um... Seraphim up here moved and ran. Um, Rhino moved 12 inches. Um, over here, uh, this exorcist moved just a little bit. These Repentia moved around um, around the back here. This Rhino moved 12 into cover. Exorcist, um, Pantanin just moved forward quite a bit. Um, Karmazov ran around the back in that building there. And this Rhino moved 12 to get this objective. Yeah, yay for Holy Rage. Okay, my turn one. Um, both of my tactical squads came in. One here, shot a Melta, but he made his cover save. One here, um, they did nothing. Land speeders came in, got a whole bunch of hits, and didn't get a single rending shot. So I managed four glances on the um, Exorcist, and all they can do is not move or shoot. Um, over here, I flamed fourteen or. Uh, yeah, flamed and bolt pistol shot 14 wounds into this squad. They lost two. I charged them, and they lost another two, and I lost three, and then they hit and run. Dreadnought shot, failed to glance any of the penitent engines and the bike squads. Came in from the edge and just uh, tried to get away from everything. <laughs> Going into round three. Okay, top of three. This rhino moved up, melted gun from inside, exploded this rhino. I lost one. Um, dreadnought got exploded from this exorcist, but fortunately he's a venerable dreadnought, so we had to reroll it, and now he can't shoot. Move or shoot, yeah, because AP1. Um, these, uh, Seraphim flamered, killed, I think, one or two of my guys, and then charged and killed two more, but they held, I killed one back. Penton engines moved, but, um, they weren't in range of shooting. And everything else just kind of moved around an inch, so I need force to hit it. Okay, bottom of three. Shot all of these into the exorcist again, and it, it can't shoot or move. Um, over here, Rhino shot at these um, Repentia, killed two of them with a storm bolter. Um, shot this vehicle up with the dreadnought that just came in with the multi melta, and with the. Uh, the melt again in this squad, then charged it and wrecked it, so all of the guys died because they can't disembark. My 10-man squad of Assault Terminators came in and did one wound to a Seraphim, killed a Seraphim, the last Seraphim in there, and did one wound to um, Celestine. Um, my Assault Marines killed the other Seraphim, so the Seraphim are gone. Celestine only took one wound, and then she took one more from being fearless. So apparently being fearless and punched a little is 
way more effective than five thunder hammers. Um, these bikes over here boosted to get away from those guys, and that's it for round three. Okay, over here, Exorcist moved back a little bit. Took some shots into the bikes, but I made my turbo boosting cover saves. We're pinch here swinging around this flank. Um, Exorcist, by the way, I sound like I'm tactical because I said flank. Um, this Exorcist moved back um, in preparation for not getting killed. Some storm bolters shot into this marine squad, but they made their saves. Um, in combat, um, killed everything there, which was just Celestine. <laughs> I consolidated four with the assault, um, with the assault marines, and six with the assault terminators. And these guys are moving through this cover over here, so going into my round four. Okay, this is a mixed feeling turn. <laughs> um, these guys moved around over here. Um, attempted to kill this exorcist, did absolutely nothing with the land speeders um, over here. Um, Terminators assaulted the exorcist and the rhino exploded. The rhino killed one guy inside and lost one terminator from the explosion. <laughs> and um, the exorcist isn't dead, it's just immobilized and can't move or shoot. Um, this squad and the bikers combined firepower to kill all of the Repentia and the mistress. And Dreadnought failed to do anything against that immolator. And my bike squad came on, charged into these guys, got six glances, and only crew stun and crew shaken results, which they ignore. They in turn killed six of my bikes. And I hit and ran, but not nearly far enough. So that's um, a disappointing flank. Or moon through terrain. Yeah. So I guess we're going on to five now. Okay, this round, Exorcist fired and exploded one of my land speeders. Um, these sisters moved into this terrain. Celestine deep struck, got a hit, luckily, and flamed. Um, I lost two, the two um, assault marines that were hit and one of the two terminators that were hit. Um, Karmazov finished off the last assault marine over here. Um, Pension engines charged and shot and killed one of them, and I hit and ran. And that's pretty much all that happened. So we're going into bottom of five. Right over here. Okay, over here. I rammed this vehicle, did nothing. These guys shot and exploded that rhino finally. Lost nothing. Um, over here, a triple assault. The um, Marines in there, the Dreadnought in there against the Sisters and the Terminators in there. Killed that squad. And the Terminators also assaulted and killed, or exploded the one exorcist. Over here, this vehicle, um, this multi melted backed up and killed Celestine again, but she's still coming back. Dreadnought shot and killed one of these before the assault. Um, charged with all of these, um, the Chaplain and Kasaro Khan that joined this bike squad, and the Dreadnought all managed to kill one more, and I lost one bike in return. <laughs> so um, we're going on to round six, the final turn. Okay, over here, Celestine came in and rolled a hit again. Flamed through here, killed the Terminator, and um, and uh, I think one Marine. Exorcist killed a Marine over here, and the Marine saved from the multi melta Two melting guns here. Um, stop my vehicle from my rhino from moving or shooting, or from shooting rather. And in combat, I did nothing, and I hit and run after losing two guys to get that objective there. So we're going into the very, very last round of the last turn. Okay, over here, these guys disembarked, shot, killed five of them, and they fell back. So I have that objective. No, you don't. It's contested. It's, it's contested by the emulator. Forgot about that. I forgot to shoot my land speeders. <laughs> over here. Um, Terminators assaulted um, Celestine and the Exorcist killed the Exorcist, Dreadnought, and um, killed Celestine. These guys also shot at her. And over here, um, I took its arm off and nothing happened in return, so I could test that and control that one. So I control two objectives, and um, Steve controls none because he's testing two of them. So good game. We'll add up kill points right. in a minute here. Thank you for the yeah. game, man. Okay, let's.